I'm going to teach you about different brawler values, what they are and why they matter. What's up guys, my name is Z and the topic of today's discussion is brawler values. Supercell is constantly adding new features to the game and with every new map and brawler and balance change introduced, the meta constantly changes. Meta stands for most effective tactics available, essentially which brawler works well in which game mode under which situation. A number of factors affect the meta. Brawler stats, brawler type, map and game mode. In order to play, you need to individually consider each of these factors. But all of these factors can be streamlined into something known as brawler values. Essentially, a brawler value is the type of advantage or value that a brawler brings to the team. The great thing about values is that they are almost always dependent on either normal attacks or supers or both. So nerfs and buffs don't really affect brawler values all the time, meaning that even if Jessie is nerfed hard, she'd still have the same values as when she wasn't. All in all, there are 10 brawler values. Ambush, Control, Fallback, Support, Distance, Shift Damage, Area of Effect, AOE or simply Area Value, Survival, Exposure and Contiguous Value plus all of its subdivisions. Each brawler in the game has one or more of these values and if you look at the win rates for each game mode, you will realize that the top brawlers and comps with the highest win rates have virtually the same values. Let's talk about each value and their brawlers. The first is the ambush value. An ambush brawler is any brawler who can do a large amount of damage at close range. They are best suited for hiding in bushes and preying on anyone who gets too close, otherwise known as bush camping. These brawlers are best played in maps with lots of bushes and game modes where getting kills is important like bounty. What's important to remember though is that knowing counters to these values is essential because if you look at a map like Snake Prairie which is completely bush covered, out of the top brawlers only one is an ambush brawler. This is because ambush brawlers have two incredible hard counters, Bo's circling eagle star power and or Tara's gadget, which is why Bo and Tara are great picks in maps like Snake Prairie where ambush brawlers are certain to roll. Next up is the control value. Essentially, control brawlers are those who can prevent enemies from accessing parts of the map, control an area of the map or force enemies to retreat. This tactic is called area denial, basically denying entry to an area. These brawlers are best played in modes where area denial or control is necessary. Modes that include collecting like siege, gem grab and hot zone can use control brawlers because those three modes require controlling parts of the map. The control value is hard countered by the assassin type brawlers. The next is the fallback value. Fallback brawlers can travel long distances in a short amount of time, making them perfect for retrieving objects like fallen gems, bolts or even gifts in game modes like prison plunder. There's no real hard counter to this value, making it a very effective technique, especially in the above mentioned game modes. The best you can really do is to limit the amount of situations where fallback brawlers can work their magic. But before we go on guys, if you're loving this video so far, be sure to click the like button down below to show your support. The fourth is the support value. This value can be defined as brawlers who can provide temporary buffs to their teammates. Brawlers who have the support value are usually support type brawlers, meaning that in their brawler profiles, you'll actually find the word support under their name. Support brawlers can be countered by assassin types, but due to the fact that they provide buffs, it will be more of a challenge than countering control value brawlers. Support brawlers can be used in any map and mode since their very purpose is to provide buffs. Number five on the list is the distance value. Brawlers who have this value can deal a large amount of damage from a distance with a single shot, typically with slow unload and reload. They can be countered if you get close enough to them though. Most fallback brawlers can deal with the distance value. However, except for Piper, the others still deal high damage even at close range, so it's something to watch out for. Number 6 on the list is the shift damage value. Shift damage is basically attacks whose damage vary on different factors. The shift damage value is also countered by the assassin brawler type, but with exceptions of course. Coming at number 7 is the area value or the area of effect value. Basically, any brawler whose attack deals damage around a motionless vector on the map have the area value. All the throwers have the area value among a few others. Brawlers with area value are generally good at controlling the map. Tick, Bali, Squeak, Spike, Tara and Lou all have the control value as well. Number 8 is the survival value. Any brawler that can last a long time in battle because of their health, gadget, star power or some other brawler value they have are survival brawlers. Survival brawlers are great in modes that require being alive for a long time like gem grab, siege, brawl ball and showdown. The survival value itself has no counterplay other than having your own survival brawler. Speaking of survival, my goal is to survive as a brawl tuber and I'm trying to reach 1000 subs before 2022. So if you guys are loving my content, be sure to subscribe if you already haven't for more videos. 
Number 9 on the list is the exposure value. The exposure value is the ability for a brawler to expose enemies that are taking cover. Any brawler that has a mechanic built specifically for exposing brawlers taking cover or for destroying cover are exposure brawlers. These brawlers are fantastic counterplays against ambush value brawlers and throwers and are best used in modes where hiding and bush camping is a strategy like bounty, showdown or gem grab. And finally, number 10. This is the most common and most powerful value among the brawlers the contiguous value. The definition of contiguous is, among other things, next together or in a sequence. So, the contiguous value refers to brawlers whose attacks either deal damage to multiple enemies back to back or deal continuous damage over time, so you can imagine just how many brawlers belong in here. There's no real hard counter to these brawlers as they range from ambush to control to support and even to values like survival or fallback. Contiguous value brawlers often have very high win rates. The contiguous value has four subdivisions. HRF, Pierce or splash damage, overtime damage, and bounce damage. HRF means high rate of fire. Any brawler who unloads multiple projectiles that hit one or more enemies in a straight line are HRF brawlers. These brawlers are fantastic at dealing lots of continuous damage at a single target and are therefore a popular pick in Heist. Attacks that pass through enemies in a single direction count as pierce or splash damage. These brawlers are great to use when multiple enemies have lined up together, especially at choke points on the map. Overtime damage is a gradual reduction of health. Crow and Byron deal overtime damage. Even Sandy does so, but only with his super and the root sand star power. You could even call Bell's normal attack an OD attack since it incessantly bounces between enemies until one of them dies. And finally, bounce damage. Bounce damage involves the brawler's attack bouncing on walls or back and forth between targets. Once again, these brawlers perform incredibly in areas where enemies tend to group together and are therefore useful at forcing enemies to stay apart from each other. In the next video, I'll talk about how to create a good team comp based on the game mode using brawler values alone. If you subscribe, it lets Granddaddy YouTube know that my content is good, so please consider subbing if you enjoy my content. Leave a comment below and I'll see you in the next one.